the session today at ASCO um, is about metastatic seminoma, advanced seminoma patients. There's a special kind of uh, testis cancer um, where two interesting abstracts um, are presented that try to tailor treatment and um, actually to reclassify um, those patients in order to sort out those uh, that might not be treated as heavily as we were used to in the past. So the first abstract is um, on the reclassification. Uh, there was a system 20 years ago published um, that distributed metastatic germ cell cancer patients into three prognostic groups. And um, today we're gonna hear, have a presentation on seminoma patients um, reclassified instead uh, of 660 from 20 years ago, now they have 2,400 seminoma patients reclassified. And the bottom line is um, that they actually find the same risk profile um, which was um, reported 20 years ago. So uh, the, no major change, but um, obviously if you would say it positive, um, we did, didn't do anything wrong in the last 20 years and we can now move on forward um, um, in more tailoring, tra tailoring treatment to those guys. Um, the unfavorable group is very small and uh, most of the seminoma patients are good risk patients that have a 90% and more survival rate um, after proper treatment. The second abstract is um, then um, actually following on this because if you now have 90 or more percent of patients surviving the disease, then you should start thinking about reducing treatment. And the French group um, performed a prospective trial where they used a radionuclide um, method, which is a PET scan, um, as a more or less biomarker um, for, for predicting um, what kind of treatment should follow um, after you have introduced this new imaging. So the, the classical treatment would be four cycles of etoposide or platinum or three cycles of um, platinum, etoposide and bleomycin. And uh, in this French trial they used the 4EP regimen as a standard. And the new thing is after two cycles they stopped and um, um, performed an image, um, imaging um, procedure with FDG PET and they saw um, that negative PET scan patients uh, perhaps should, um, uh, should stop treatment at two cycles and be followed only with one cycle of carboplatin and they compared it to the standard group um, that got four cycles if the signal was still positive. And the recurrence rate actually was not much different and this is the first signal that um, perhaps in the future with larger trials we could stop treatment after two cycles of cisplatinum. The reason why it is so important um, to think about this treatment reduction is that we are treating very young patients. Um, they are 20 years, 25 years old, and um, the Norwegian um, study group around Sophie Fossa has published data 30 years after cisplatinum treatment with a devastating development of secondary malignancies. So um, this is obviously due to treatment, cisplatinum or radiotherapy, and if you're able to reduce cisplatinum dosage, um, then you may probably um, improve the situation um, to lower down the rate of secondary malignancies. And, um, so testis cancer patients are different from normal cancer patients because they are so young and they um, have a life expectancy which is uh, comparable to a normal um, man without cancer. And so it's very, very interesting how much treatment do they really need uh, in order to survive.